Forget this battle over cattle in Nevada. Is the government now trying to mess with Texas? Republican Governor Rick Perry here now. Welcome, everyone. I'm Stuart Varney in for Neil Cavuto. This is Your World and the battle between that Nevada rancher and the federal government putting the spotlight on another potential land grab. This one in northern Texas. At issue, reports that the Bureau of Land Management may be preparing to claim 90,000 acres along the Red River between Texas and Oklahoma as public domain. Land that has been privately owned for generations. Texas Attorney General Greg Abbott daring the feds to come in and take it. How now? First on Fox, the state's Republican governor on this Fed fight, Rick Perry, with us now. Governor, welcome to the program. Good to be with you, Stuart. Thank you. Sounds like a dare from the Attorney General. Come yeah. and get it. That's a challenge, isn't it? Greg Abbott is a very powerful and, and thoughtful Attorney General who's obviously going to be the next governor of the state of Texas. And, and uh, uh, he is on the right side of this issue, not just for the people of the state of Texas, he's on the right side of this issue from a private private. Uh, standpoint from the private property rights standpoint uh, and I don't think Americans want to see another one of these ex exhibitions from the federal government of them uh, coming in with armed troops over an issue that ought to be taken care of with a little common yeah. sense when you think about it. Do, do you approve of that kind of language? Come and get it. Well, it is a dare. It, it is a flat up Texas challenge. Actually, it's, it's not a dare. It's a promise that uh, we're going to stand up for private property rights in the state of Texas. And I, I, don't, uh, uh, I don't have a problem in the world with uh, uh, Attorney General Abbott's words here. But the, the key on this, from my standpoint, Stuart, is the federal government already owns too much land. Uh, we ought to be having a conversation in this country about how can the federal government divest itself of a huge amount of this land holdings that it has across the country <laughs> rather than being looking for ways to uh, come in and take over private property that's been in the people's land. It, it uh, is in private general, property? Uh, from my perspective, it, it, it they, is private property. The Bureau of Land Management says, look, this is, in the, this is the yeah. public domain. Yeah. It has been for, since the mid-1980s, at least parts yeah. of it. Well, then the federal government going to come back in and say, you know what, Mexico used to own the state of Texas, so let's have a conversation about, uh, you know, where the rightful ownership of this is. Or we go back with the, uh, the, the uh, uh, Native Americans and have, you know, are, are we going to go relitigate every piece of private property that we've got in this country because we have a federal government that's out of control? So how do you view the statement of Senator Harry Reid? He described the people who are standing up to the feds coming in. He described them as domestic terrorists. Just for one moment, Governor, I'd like to roll that piece of tape so everybody can hear it again. Go. These people who hold themselves out to be patriots are not. They're nothing more than domestic terrorists. Not patriots, domestic terrorists. Strong language, your response. It is. I, I would suggest that uh, uh, Senator Reid spend a little more time in Nevada and get out of Washington, D.C. And, and go visit with those people that he's uh, disparaging. I, I think that's a, a very unfortunate language and, 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 frankly, not something that you would want a leader in America saying about the citizens of this country. Do you have a problem with guys with guns um, um, getting together and opposing federal force? Well. Here's the bigger issue. I have a problem with the federal government putting citizens in the position of having to feel like they uh, have to use force to deal with their own government. That's the bigger issue. And, and that's the reason I think that the, the uh, Bureau of Land Management needs to be really careful uh, about coming, whether it's Nevada or Texas or Oklahoma or whatever state it might be, and, and acting like uh, that uh, private property uh, is something that they control and that they are going to be able to uh, make the decision about who this belongs to. We have, we're have we a rule of law country and private property is at the base of it. And, in, and unless the federal government respects that, then I'll suggest to you that they are the ones that are instigating uh, the opportunity for uh, misfortune okay. to happen. L let me read to you the statement from the Bureau of Land Management, which they gave to, to foxnews.com. I'm reading it verbatim now. The BLM, Bureau of Land Management, is categorically not expanding federal holdings along the Red River. They directly contest the view that it's private property. Yeah. Well, I think we have an administration that acts imperialistically. And I've seen it uh, too many